on the vlog again. Just can't wait to do a vlog again. The life I love is making vlogs for my friends. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Doing a vlog again. Going places that I've never been. Seeing things that I may never see again. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Top Vloggers. As always, I am your host, I am Matty Joe. The lovely cat is at her shoot job and then she has got to go to the Walmart and pick up some groceries and some other things that we have been needing around the house. So it is going to be a fun and exciting day. Today is National Parents Day. It is also National Sunday Day. So we're gonna have a Sunday. We're gonna spend some time with Aaron. We're going to play Sorry. It should be fun and exciting. I can't wait. Let's get going. Well, while the lovely cat was at her shoot job, uh, I was able to get these figures hung up right here. The Enzo Amore and Big Cass figure that I had. Also able to get the Bianca Belair and Angelo Dawkins. Uh, I'm definitely missing the Montavious or uh, Mont... Montez Ford boy I, I I I don't know how many times I've messed that up cat always corrects me on that Montez Ford yes uh, th which is the husband to Bianca Belair uh, I am definitely missing him he will go right there and he is also the tag team partner in the Street Profits of Angelo Dawkins I thought when I bought the Angelo Dawkins that I also bought a Montez Ford and I thought it was in the box uh, where this figure was, but when I went in, there was no figure. So uh, we'll definitely have to rebuy that. But I was able to get those hung up today, and I've got one more two pack to hang up on my wall as well. And then I have the Brutus the Barber Beefcake, which I have showed you guys. And uh, the box is uh, just, uh, it's, it's just no good. The, bo the, bo the box is, as you can see, it's, it has no, no, no thing here at the top. Um, box cutter ripped right here. So, yeah, we're thinking about taking this out of the box. The whole thing is... I do not have the Hulk Hogan to go next to this uh, that I would like. So, um, not exactly sure what I'm going to do with that. But if I do decide to open that, I will let you guys know. And I will open that on camera for you guys. So you guys can see it out of the box. Alright, well the lovely cat is at home. How are you doing today, dear? Did you have a great day at work? Not really. Not really. Okay. Well, uh, she uh, is preparing the garlic bread for uh, spaghetti and garlic bread. And she was also able to pick up these. Uh, limited edition salted caramel brownie Oreos. So, we're going to try those after dinner. And she also picked this up. Fruity Cereal Kit Kat, limited edition. Limited edition. So we're going to go ahead and try that as well. Um, uh, it should be an exciting day uh, for us to go ahead and try all these treats. And we're having spaghetti and garlic bread for dinner. Are you having a great day, dear? Apparently not. Uh, I, wish it, I wish you were having a better day. I'm very sore. I'm very sore. I know your knee. I know your knee hurts. And my tooth is hurting. I'll be happy after tomorrow when it's taken out. All right. This is the first thing that we are going to try is the Kit Kat fruity cereal. I'm going to hand this to Kat. She's going to open it up and uh, serve us, and then we're going to try it and tell you what we think, whether it's good or bad. Here we go. Okay, my dear. This right here is what we're dealing with. 
Hope we can. That off focus. There you go. As you can see, it has the little specks of fruity cereal in it. Have you smelled it yet, my dear? It smells good. It smells like the cereal. It's already melting in my on onto my fingers. It smells like a bowl of Fruit Loops. Well, we're gonna try it out. Yeah, I can see that they kind of taste like Fruit Loops too, like the entire thing, like. It tastes like you're eating a bowl of Fruit Loops. Yeah. Like each bite is a is a is a spoonful. And the coating, the outside coating, has a very milky texture to it. Yeah. Hence the reason it's melting all over my fingers. It was like that coming out of the package. So yeah. Well it is 103 degrees here today. That could also be reason, but it's been inside all day too. Besides the walk home. I don't know. I like it, but I don't think I would buy it again. It's good. If you like Fruit Loops, it'd be worth trying. But I'm with you, I don't think I'd buy it again. Well, now we are going to try the limited edition as you can hear Rockefeller snoring in the background. Limited edition salted caramel brownie Oreos. So I'm gonna open open these up. Get one out. If you look at it carefully. It's got a like a chocolate and a caramel put together. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that cookie back together and hand it to the lovely cat. And I'm going to try one of these as well. So Ikitakimasu. What do you think, dear? I can't really taste the sea salt caramel brownie. The only thing I taste is the Oreo cookie on the outside. Not a fan. Uh, that is for sure. I think it'd be a lot better if the Oreo <clears throat> cookies were thinner. Not as much cookie. See, I, 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 I may agree with Kat on that. But I disagree with her at the on the initial taste. First thing I tasted was brownie. I was like, oh, I was like, this does taste like a brownie. And then later on, the crunch of the actual cookie came in. I didn't taste any of that gum caramel at all. Like that, I didn't taste no caramel at all. Um, but I tasted brownie first, and then I tasted 
the Oreo cookie itself. Um, personally, I'm not a huge brownie fan. I like them, but I'm not in, I'm not in love with them. You're not a huge chocolate fan either. Right, I, I much prefer caramel and peanut butter over chocolate any day of the week. Um, well, that and if you get a package of Oreos, you normally get the golden ones, the vanilla. Yeah. So, but with that being said, I uh, it, I would I would go ahead and try them out if I mean I, I would recommend that you try them. Um, are you gonna enjoy them? I I don't Depends know. Depends on your taste. Uh, you 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 very well may enjoy them, but personally. I did not think that they were um, worth the three bucks. That's for sure. Uh, and it says it's topped with salt. I did not see any salt on the top of my cookie. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and, and. It is? Okay, Kat says it is. It, is, it does have. It's very hard to see. See if it'll focus. There you go. Yeah, they're very hard to see, but you can see the little specks of salt on it. So, that is something to uh, to go ahead and, and know that it is topped with salt. Like I said, uh, I gave up traditional salt. What? It's been seven months. About seven months ago. So uh, I'm not I'm not real big on salt. I use sea salt for most everything well, now. You can tell by the look at the, when you look at the salt, it's not your typical ordinary salt. It is sea salt because it's a little chunkier than the granulated salt, the, the table salt that you would typically use. So
playing the game. Uh, just to let you guys know, uh, I hadn't played this game in years, and uh, it, it really is a fun game. Uh, we are going to start playing more and more board games with Aaron, uh, and we're thinking about even having family game night. So, uh, definitely something to uh, keep in mind for you and your family. And Cat Wins. As you can see, the rain is coming down. It is lightning. It is thundering. There's our grill. The weather warning thing is going off. And it looks like it could flood right here. Just depending how much rain we actually get. Flood warning till midnight. Well, if it keeps raining like this, it won't take long, that's for sure. So, as you can see, the rain has slowed down some, but we are still getting lightning and thunder. And the rain hasn't, hasn't stopped. It's just slowed down. So. so. Hear Rockefeller barking in the background. And like I said, we'll definitely keep you updated as to uh, what's going on in this uh, in this storm that we're having here in Las Vegas. Well, thank you so much for coming on this vlog. I hope you guys had a great time. As always, it was a pleasure playing Sorry with Kat and Aaron. And like I said, I think we are definitely going to uh, install some kind of family game night or something like that into the future. Uh, like I said, it was uh, definitely pleasurable playing with them. As you can see, the light is on. That is because it is officially nighttime and the lovely cat and Aaron are in bed. So I think I, this is going to do it for us here today. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, take it one step further, and ring. That notification bell to keep you up to date on all the future adventures that will be going on on our channel. And I think, like I said, I think that's going to do it for us here today. Have a great evening. Until next time, Top Vloggers!